Hey guys, welcome to the Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try one of these uh, market side uh, roast beef and cheese subs. Um, it says um, Heat and Eat. Market side is a Walmart brand. Oh, so we bought these at Walmart. They were $3.87. Um, they're back where the deli meat is, like we buy the deli meats and stuff like that. Um, it is refrigerated. It's do not, uh, keep refrigerated. It is an 8 ounce sandwich or 227 grams. 500 calories if you eat the whole sandwich, which is fine. Um, there's the other information for you. So you can do this in a conventional oven from refrigerator. Of course, I'm not going to do that, but you can if you want to. We, we only do microwaves here. So we're going to remove this sub from the sleeve. Done. It was taped, by the way. There's a little piece of tape right there uh, where it was taped. I could cut the tape while, while it was before I started filming. Anyway. Um, Remove stuff from sleeve, leave open, yeah, leave oven safe bag on the sub. Do not vent, so don't open it or anything like that. Place sub on a microwave safe plate. Um, cook in bag on high setting for one and a half to two. Um, I'll, I'll just do one and a half. Or until cheese is visibly melted, remove from microwave, open bag carefully. A sub will be hot, let cool, then enjoy. Yeah, all right, so this is what it looks like. Looks really good. Quite a bit of roast beef. I wonder if you could eat that cold. You could probably eat it cold if you really wanted to, but I'm gonna stick it in the microwave uh, for a minute and a half and I'll be back when it comes out. All right, here it is out of the microwave. And I actually it left it in there about a minute and 15 seconds or so. So I took it out like 15, 20 seconds early um, because the cheese was all good and melting. I didn't want the bread to get hard. So, uh, so I took it out. It's pretty, pretty good and soft, uh, the bread is. And the meat's still pretty good and hot. I can feel the steam coming out of it. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna cut this in half just so I can eat it a little easier and uh, let it cool off for just a minute. I'll be back. Okay, I gave it prob probably a minute to cool off. Not, not a long period of time, but that, I'm gonna take a bite right there. I like the cheese. Cheese like running out the end. And it's got a good flavor to it. The bread on the bottom is a little wet. Now, not bad, but I just, I kind of flipped it over um, to turn it kind of on its side so it wouldn't get soggy. Um, tons of cheese. Look at all that cheese in there. That's a lot of cheese. That bite was all bread. Although the bread is really good. It's good and tender. It's good and warm, um, which I like a, a warm toasted sub. It's not toasted like a crispy, but just warm, like it's been heated up. I like the taste of the roast beef. It's good, it's got a good, you know, the roast beef, beefy flavor. Um, the cheese is good, like I said, it has a good flavor to it. If I had condiments like an Arby sauce, the horsey sauce, or an Arby sauce, or I don't know, some kind, some kind of sauce to put on the roast beef, I think it'd be better. But um, as it is, it's still really good. It's not quite like five or even four. I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. I do think it's better than average because I do think the flavor of the roast beef is really good. The bread's good and soft. The cheese is got a good flavor and it's good and, and melty. It's been turned into water and actually melted, uh, which is a good thing. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to stick with three and a half. It doesn't have enough flavor to really bump it up to like a four or a five, but, um, but it's good for what it is. And I think the price is pretty fair for what, for what you're uh, getting for your money. So the deli and Walmart, you can find these. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.